Hello and welcome to another heads up. I uh, went to play poker yesterday evening as well. A uh, live cash game and actually got break even. Even though I got quads twice, uh, quad aces even, and quad fives. Um, didn't get an insane amount of value out of them. Did get some out of them, but um, I got kings busted, which I managed to throw away though. Um, here you see bets twice. Mm, Jack then obviously want to see a flop with it. He has folded before to these kind of bets. Uh, we have two over cards and runner and flush. I don't like people that lead out. Uh, here we have the flush draw. We do get the flush here, so let's hope he leads. Raise it up again. Yep, uh, that's the issue with leading out, right? It's gonna cost you a lot more than just check calling. Uh, yeah, if you wanna be an idiot and chef, go ahead, uh, Bulgarian. 8-6, obviously you wanna see a flop. Uh, we hit middle pair, he will lead out because he's an idiot. Um, I will fold here, but if he does this a lot more in the future, I will call with second pair. Here we have bottom pair, pretty dangerous. Um, we still just have a uh, third pair, but I mean, look at this guy. Uh, what kind of bets are these? He just wants to pick the pot. Yeah, that's fine, but as soon as I get a hand, you're gonna lose all that money. I have jack high, so yeah, no, can't call there. Uh, seven five, check. Uh, hit an open ender, so 3 is fine and 8 is fine, and 8 is still good. We made a pair, uh, which should be good, but yeah, I mean, the board is really dangerous here to bet out on. Ace Queen. If he shoves, I'm obviously calling. Uh, we have two overs here, so let's bet. See what he does. Yeah, it's been a while since I see better, so. 2-5. Um, Uh, actually, hey Jack Deuce, so I will give him this one. Ace Queen yet again, um, but he falls, sadly enough. I'm gonna mute Ventrilo because someone might be coming online. Uh, he checks to me, uh, it's a pretty dangerous board. We lead out once, um, but he calls, so obviously we're done. I uh, will check, check. He probably has king, but I mean, it's still good, right? Uh, Jack 3, if he makes a standard race, yeah, it's not even a standard race, it's an over race. Um, and he shows me that he had a hand, yeah, big fucking deal, I don't care. Yeah, the person uh, <laughs> came. Uh, Online anyway, not on not on Ventrilo, um, which I'm on all day. Uh, he bet 60, which is a bit much, uh, but I will call here. I mean, I had a flash draw. Uh, he overbets the pot yet again. 4-6, uh, uh, we do have the button though. He's just grinding himself in here. He 3 bets, but we have position, so we'll see what he does. He will lead out here, no he doesn't. Um, this is odd, I have no clue why he checks to me twice. He makes the call. Here he should lead out now on the river. Um, I think if I bet here, he might be gone. Uh, but it's a bit risky. Um, do I want to risk the ships? Yeah, I guess. Um, I mean, if he called on turn, he probably has an eight. Uh, I don't think he has anything, but I mean, I can't call there, right? Uh, but if I had something there, I mean, I'm so <laughs> winning this. Game, he's risking an insane amount of ships just to gain some, uh, and I don't think it's a good thing. I mean, here he overbets. No, he doesn't. I mean, it's too aggressive in my opinion. I don't like people when they play like that. I mean, I don't like it. Um, I just think it's a bad way to play. Uh, here we have way too many overs. Um, 4 5 is better than us. Uh, he bets 140 on the pot. Uh, 8 could have hit him, 6 could have hit him, but we'll call once. Um, yeah, we win this one. 
I mean, look at that. That's way too high of a bet. Um, yeah, it is fine. Way too high uh, of a bet. And it costs him an entire, a an really big part of his stack. Uh, we do have a king as an over, but I mean, uh, we wanted something like a flash draw with it. We have a backdoor flush, which I s which most people assume is good. But as soon as I get a hand, um, I'm getting a big part of this guy's stack anyway. It's been a while since we see it, so yeah. A twos. He just gives us a free flop. Uh, terrible flop for us. I mean, a nine here would be fine. Nope. Yeah, you can have it. Whatever you do, you can have it, especially if you overbet. <laughs> um, yeah. Mostly when people overbet like that, they tend to have something and just want to extract an insane amount of value out of their hands uh, because they missed getting value before that, uh, which is their own fault, of course. Uh, here we have an open ender, so. Uh, we obviously don't get there, so we will fold. And the 6 would have made us even a bigger straight, so... 6 would have been great for us, but yeah. Uh, ace 3 on the button, so an ace obviously playing it. Uh, we'll see bet here, it's the first very first time at this blind level. Um, we still have an ace as an out, nope. Uh, we're we'll probably beat here, so yeah. He's playing really aggressive, um, so I just try to make hands and let him um, pay for them. So he really out for once. Uh, we do have the seven. I mean, the flush could be there. Uh, queen could hit him, but I didn't. Yeah, after he checked, I obviously didn't know I was uh, winning, but uh, it's a pretty risky board to do stuff like that. Yeah, deuce nine. I uh, didn't want to play it here. 9 suited, obviously want to see a flop. Uh, we have a gut shot, but it's only 3 cards. Um, yeah, we still only have a gut shot. We hit our rate, which might be good. I mean, the flush here is pretty sick. Uh, yeah. See, I mean, with that kind of overbet, as soon as I get a hand, it's going to cost them. Um, and it did, so yeah. It's not really good to overbet like that. Just play regular poker poker people, play normal poker, play decent poker and you will um, get ahead of these kind of people. Jack does even on the button. Terrible hand. Jack three. Um but he gives me a free flop and we hit our three. Wow. Um we might get flush, no. Uh he sh does a Pot size bet, which is a bit high, but I mean, I only have bottom pair to pun try to punish. Um, yeah, queen 10, obviously, want to see a flop. Uh, come 3 under, so we will lead out. Uh, so he probably has an ace or something, he's king, uh, which is still good on this board. I mean, if I had anything, I obviously would have insta called, but again, shoving there, yeah, I'm not a big fan. So here I have bottom pair, I have an ace as a higher card, uh, it's a pretty dangerous board as well with 810 and stuff like that, uh, especially now an 8 is sick. Uh, we hit trip sixes, so we'll call, and he did have the 8, so yeah. I mean the 8 was really dangerous there for me, right? Uh, let's raise it up, we have an ace, uh, we'll check. We hit our dues, which is probably good. Uh, and now 4 beats us, 5 beats us, 6 beats us, the king beats us. Uh, and it's, yeah, we'll have to call. I mean, he doesn't have anything, yeah, he doesn't. Uh, 4 jack, yeah, not gonna play it. Still hate it. A3, still hate it. Uh, but he gives us a free flop. And we get the 3 of a dangerous board. Uh, let's hope a 6 comes. Nope. He might have, uh, yeah, that's way too much for me. I mean, I think he missed value on the turn or something, or wants to take the pot there. I don't care uh, if he wants to take the pot, uh, he can have it. If he wants to risk that amount of ships, uh, for... Um, let's hope he has something here. Let's hope he shoves. Uh, obviously, we call we have aces. Uh, this is a great hand to bust me, though, and he does get there. So, yeah, we lose with aces. Um... Yeah, <laughs> not much to say about that. I mean, 
had some bad luck. Obviously, connected shooters are probably the best hand to be aces. Um, but I mean, I finally get a hand to punish his over aggression, and I actually get punished. So, see you for the next one.